Felicidade é uma vibração intensa, um momento em que eu sinto a vida em plenitude dentro de mim e quero que aquilo se eternize. Felicidade é a capacidade de você ser inundado por uma alegria imensa por aquele instante, por aquela situação. Aliás, felicidade não é um estado contínuo. Felicidade é uma ocorrência eventual. A felicidade é sempre episódica. Nos últimos 50 anos do século XX, nós tivemos mais desenvolvimento tecnológico do que em toda a história anterior da humanidade. As questões centrais permaneceram. Quem sou eu? Para que tudo isso? Por que eu não sou feliz apenas quando eu possuo objetos? Por que o mal existe? Por que eu não tenho paz em meio a tanta convivência? Nesta hora, não só a religiosidade ela sofreu um revival, como a filosofia passou a ser de novo interessante. friends, delicious food, making money? Well, consider this. Psychologists have scientifically proven that one of the greatest contributing factors to overall happiness in your life is how much gratitude you show. Yeah? Think about that. Because we read it, and we thought it might be fun to test out for ourselves. First, we gave them a test. They didn't know what we were looking for, but it gave us a pretty good idea of their current level of happiness. We asked them to close their eyes and think of somebody who was really influential in their life, somebody who did something really amazing or important for them. We had them write down as much as they could about why this person was so important. Now, a lot of them thought at this point the experiment was over, until we really put them on the spot and tried to get them to call that person 
and read what they wrote about them. Thank you, <laughs> Jessica. We are going to have to have you call your mother. Hello? Hi. Hi. Erica, it's me. All right, so I've got to read you this paragraph. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead, All right. sweetheart. All right, the person that influenced me the most would be my mother, Marlo Dawson. She is a single mother of two. She is a very hard worker and dedicated to her family. Hey, Craig, this is Loie. Um, this is going to be a funny little voicemail, so I hope you enjoy it. I have to read this to you, okay? And you can't say anything or, I don't know, you can respond, but I probably will just keep going. <laughs> okay? The person who has had the biggest impact on my life outside of Jesus Christ, who is responsible for my existence, was my college accounting instructor. He had a joy and enthusiasm for his job like no other teacher I have ever known. I love her to death, and she keeps me going with positive talk. She is a woman that knows what she wants and won't give up until it is achieved. Oh, something. I, I, I don't know what, I'm about to cry because it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have, I have to say that it's just wonderful. I first met Craig on an independent feature film set in Whitefish, Montana. I recently have been sending Craig a lot of positive thoughts as he's suffered a series of health problems. Despite his medical problems, he's continued to work and take pleasure in the small things in life, like sitting quietly with, with his wife, Janine, on the porch. Erica is my older sister and my best friend. <laughs> Sometimes it even feels like we are twins. She's my number one fan and my number one supporter. She makes me happy because despite all my mistakes and my decisions, she still loves me no matter what. Your friendship is everything. And you are, you are one of the most important person in my life. Even when she has a kid and many children, I will love her more than her kids. Okay, maybe not. I will never forget when she flew 3,000 miles at the drop of a phone call to save me from a breakup. I'm being blessed by having a son like you. I love you. Bye. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> I don't know because they made me do it. <laughs> Before we let them go, we gave our subjects one more happiness test. Now we mixed up and rephrased the questions so they didn't know they were taking the same test twice. For those who took the time to actually write something down but couldn't make the phone call for whatever reason, we saw happiness increase between two and four percent. Good but not exactly mind-blowing. Now, for those who actually picked up the phone and personally expressed their gratitude, we saw increases between 4 and 19%. But you want to know something really interesting? The person who experienced the biggest jump in happiness was the least happy person who walked in the door. What does that mean? That means if you're having a particularly tough time, trying this out will more likely have a greater impact on you. I'm Julian, and this has been The Science of Happiness.
best projects. More grades, more time for the family. Yeah. I don't know about my friends, my friends would be happy. Um, ice cream makes me happy. A good fat fight coffee. Video games. <laughs> <laughs> Very positive things happy. <laughs> que é mortal, né? todos os outros animais são imortais e embora todos morram nós somos o único que além de morrer sabe que vai morrer desse ponto de vista, não é a morte que me importa porque ela é um fato, o que me importa é o que eu faço da minha vida enquanto minha morte não acontece, para que essa vida não seja banal, superficial, fútil pequena na esta hora eu preciso ser capaz de fazer falta no dia que eu me for, e eu me vou eu quero fazer falta Fazer falta não significa ser famoso, significa ser importante. Importar, quando alguém me leva para dentro, importa, ele me porta para dentro. Eu quero ser importante. Por isso, para ser importante, eu preciso não ter uma vida que seja pequena. E uma vida se torna pequena quando ela é uma vida que é apoiada só em si mesmo, fechada em si. Eu preciso transbordar, ir além da minha borda. Preciso me comunicar, preciso me juntar, preciso me repartir. Nesta hora, minha vida, que sem dúvida ela é curta, eu desejo que ela não seja pequena. Could you back me up? Could you back me up?